Welcome to this video on five useful features which might help you in Excel online. So you can, anyone can have a free Microsoft account and use things like Excel, Word, PowerPoint in the online versions. If like me, you have a paid account or a business account for work, then you'll have access to the desktop apps which have a ton of functionality on them. But Microsoft has been working recently to really upgrade those online versions and they do look very similar to the desktop apps and sometimes they have a little bit better functionality as well. So some of these things are available on the desktop apps, some of them are not, but hopefully they will be coming soon because there's some nice quick wins and quick ways of formatting your spreadsheet and finding what you need to and adding new things in and moving new things around that I'm going to show you in today's video. So let's jump in straight away and we're going to look at inserting columns and rows. So you may think you need to right click here or go to the ribbon, but actually in Excel online, all you need to do is hover over either the column or the row and you'll see some new icons. And the ones, the insert icons you're looking for are the two at the side, they're the circles. And you'll see when you hover over them, it turns into a slightly bigger circle with a plus sign in it and you get a green line down. And you can see one at the beginning and one at the end of the column that you are that you hovered over and the same happens with the rows although it is a bit harder to see it and click on it you'll see those circles there as well so all you've got to do to add in a new column or row is just to hover over that circle and click and it will add that in and just make sure you click in the right place and it'll add that column in and if i go over to my rows and do the same thing Definitely harder to get hold of that one. But you can add in that row. Nice and easy using those little circles. So you know exactly which side it's going to appear at as well. You don't have to select different options on the list. You don't have to remember any shortcuts or anything because we know we've got lots going on in our brain. We can just use those circles and add them in really nicely. So that's your first thing. Your second thing is moving columns around. So just like me, I'm sure you you create a load of data and then you think, actually, I prefer that in another place. And you'd like to be able to move those columns around really quickly without having to add in new columns, copy and paste your data across, use any keys or anything else. And there's loads of different ways you can do it in Excel, but in Excel online, it works really simply. If I hover again over this column and it works exactly the same for rows, those six dots in the middle are what I'm going to be looking for. And if I hover over those, you see I've changed to a hand rather than a cursor. And that means I can now move this column wherever I want it to go. You'll see a green line that shows up and that's going to show me exactly where that information is going to be dropped. So really, really quick and easy to move your columns. Now you can use a couple of buttons here because you may want to replace the data or duplicate the data. So when you've got your cursor over the middle and it changes into a hand, as I move this, I'm going to hold down the shift key. And instead of that line, it's actually showing me a box now around the column. And if I drop it, it just moves that over there. So it's replaced. If there was something in that column, it would have replaced it with this one. So that might be a useful bit of functionality for you. The final one then in the move option is if I again go and hover and I've got that hand there, if I press the control key instead and move this, again, you see a bit of a line there and it's duplicated. So the shift key replaces when you're doing this move function and the control key duplicates. So you've got then a duplicate column of data going on in a different place. Or you may just want to have that because it's set up in a certain way. So you've got a few options there, but it's really simple and easy to remember. You're not having to do anything else. You're just hovering over that column and I'm moving it around without having to press any buttons. Or if you want to replace it, hold down the shift key. If you want to duplicate like I've just done, hold down the control key while you're moving it. 
really nice and easy bit of functionality. Something also that's pretty newish on this one is the paste options. So if I just go into any cell and copy and then right click and go into paste special, you're going to see a few new options on there to make life a bit easier. And something that I find a little bit useful because when I'm on the application version and I want to paste something and I want to do a special paste, I maybe want the values only or I want formatting only or I can even transpose the data. I've got to hover over the icons because it's not something I use all the time. So I can't visually recognize them. And sometimes they're quite small. So what is really positive and what I really like here is it says exactly what it's going to do. So you can see if I want to paste the value, if I want to paste the formula, I can just click on those. I don't have to hover over the icon and figure out which one works best for me. So I really like that. That works amazingly for me because I don't want to have to overthink what I'm doing. So paste special is quite a useful one. Another one that's quite useful is a calendar picker. So any cell that you've got in Microsoft Online that's formatted as a date cell, when you double click on it, you will see a date picker pop up. So you're not having to type in, you can go in there and click on that date and then select what you want, you can change the years and everything. And you can also go to today at the bottom. And this just helps you from having to press loads of keys on your keyboard and pick it in a bit of an easier way. So double click on any cell, that has a date format in it, and you'll see a calendar picker pop up. I find that really, really useful. The final one I just quickly want to show you is if you have any comments in your Excel document when you're using Excel online, if you're collaborating with loads of people, if you have, have people asking questions about data, then sometimes when you go to the comments and it's this little icon towards the top right hand corner, the speech bubble, it will open up. Now, I've only got two items in there, but if you've got lots going on, if you're trying to create something or you've just got a lot of interaction, this is how you ask questions, then you might have a lot of comments in there. And it's really hard to scroll down and figure out which ones you're looking for. So what you'll see there is you have a filter option. And you can filter by mentions. So you can just find the ones that have you mentioned on there so that you know that the comments that you need to manage. You can also filter by active to get rid of those that are resolved so you don't have to look at them. And if you want to go back and look at the ones that have been resolved to see if they still stick, then you can also filter by resolved. So a few really useful filters there on the comments to help you collaborate better in Microsoft Online. So a few key things there to work with. You can see how easy it is to insert columns and rows, although I know the rows bit is very small. And it took me a few moments to click on that icon because it disappears really, really quickly. So it is a little bit fiddly on rows. I will give it that. But the columns one is super easy with the circles. Moving columns, so easy. Make sure your cursor's changed to that hand. And then you can just click and drag them wherever you want them to go. Again, it works for columns and rows. Remember the shift key, hold that down if you want to replace the data and the control key, hold that down if you want to duplicate that data. Have a look at those pay special options. Love the fact that it tells you exactly what it is next to it. So you're not having to hover over icons like you do in the desktop version. And you can see exactly what paste option works best for you. Double click on any cell that's got a date format to see the calendar picker and then have a play around with that filter. If you collaborate a lot in Excel and you use the comments function, then it might just help you find the comments that you're looking for. A few things to play around with. Remember, Microsoft Excel Online is available to everyone. So even if you don't have a paid for Microsoft account, you can sign up online by going to excel.new and then either sign up or just open up an Excel document online and you can start playing around with it and collaborating and using these new bits of functionality that have come out recently. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.